Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our final discussion for Physics 71, which is on Lecture 32, Applications of Simple Harmonic Motion. So um, in the pre previous discussion, Lectures 30 and 31, we have uh, described what simple harmonic motion is. Again, simple harmonic motion means that the acceleration, or I should say the magnitude of the acceleration, should be proportional to the displacement, and the direction of the acceleration should be opposite that of the direction of the displacement. So this one, uh, and it turns out that we can get some solutions to uh, a spring mass system. Ang ating model for simple harmonic motion ay spring mass system. But we see, we will see that maran pa namang mga systems na uh, hindi lang naman sim, uh, hindi lang naman spring mass ang ang, ang oscillating, de ba? So in that case, um, uh, nice. In that case, uh, ang nangyayari, pwedeng baka may ibang systems na na pwede nating gawin um simple harmonic kasi it, it's possible na it is also rotating um, it's also oscillating so ang oscillatory system pwede mong i-model yan as something that's simple harmonic pero in some cases however kailangan mo ng konting approximation we will, which we will see in the case of the simple pendulum and the physical pendulum merong tinatawag na small oscillations na nangyayari okay now, um, here's an outline of the final discussion. So first, we discuss simple pendulum. And then second, these two are basic examples of, of sim uh, sim simple harmonic oscillators with some assumptions. Because in general, hindi yan simple harmonic. Uh, merong assumption ka dapat na ilalagay dyan. And then after that, we have physical pendulum. So simple pendulum, you have uh, a point mass-like bob that is connected to a massless string and um, there's a pivot. Uh, what you want to determine there is a period of oscillations of a pendulum. And then after that, we have a physical pendulum, which is the rigid body equivalent of your simple pendulum. So uh, you are hanging a particular rigid body uh, with some center of mass such that the pivot is not at the same location as of the center of mass. Kasi may mangyayari if ever na ganun gawin mo. And then after that, we will solve other problems involving other applications of simple harmonic motion. Because your FQ5 has a problem that um, needs this, needs this uh, approach on how to obtain the equation of motion of a system in simple harmonic motion. So yun yung pag-uusapan natin for this discussion. Okay? May tanong ba? May mga tanong ba? Wala, wala question so far. So um, here's uh, the objectives of this uh, topic. So at the end of the session, you should be able to first identify the period and frequency of a spring mass system, the simple pendulum, and the physical pendulum. So you have three systems there. Uh, the spring mass system, we already discussed it. In fact, that's our motivation for the simple harmonic motion of an object. And, pero sa simple pendulum, um, di pa natin discuss yan, even with the physical pendulum. And then after that, we set up the equations of motion of different mechanical systems because uh, especially when they're, when they're oscillating kasi kailangan nyo nga siya in one of the problems in FQ5. Okay, so let's start. 